Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in. Man, it's been a hot minute since I put out a full length video. I kind of miss it. Just, you know, life's been crazy. Now, HSF Tools was kind enough to reach out to me. Wait, don't click off. You want to see this. It's a thermal imaging camera. This thing is freaking awesome. I always wanted a thermal imaging camera to uh, get up close on all like the motors of the impact wrenches, impact drivers we tested on the channel. And it's great for other things too, like checking for uh, cold and hot spots for insulation, anything electrical, you know, your, your car, anything. They're freaking phenomenal. This is actually a two-in-one. It's a regular camera and a thermal, and they blend it together so you can do regular, thermal, or blend. It's freaking awesome. Let's unbox it and check it out. We'll go over all the features and all the specs. All right. In all honesty, I did open it because I had to read the owner's manual to figure it out. Pop it open. Comes a nice box. Boop. Top thing is a little sleeve. It comes with instruction manual. Thank you card, warranty information and whatnot. Um, calibration certificate, that goes in there. Comes in this nice little carrying pouch. It does have a little clip. If you want to clip it on your work bag, your tool bag, I probably would never clip on my belt, but you could. It's Velcro, here's the unit itself. Comes out, now there, as I was telling you about, it has standard camera and thermal imaging and flash or flashlight, you can turn it on for both. On this side, this is more just like the hold it. Comes a little screen protector. I have not pulled it off yet. Power, capture, take pictures. This side you have the USB-C charging port. And where is the lanyard hole? Lanyard hole, comes a little lanyard. And also a little um, screw so you can mount on a tripod just like this camera. Pretty slick. It's not turned on yet. And the bottom of the box comes with USB-C charger. USB to USB-C charger. And then, of course, the uh, little lanyard thing so you don't drop it. All right, should we peel the sticker out? I've been waiting to do this for a couple days here. And it's official. Hallelujah. <laughs> All you do is hold the power button down for three seconds. Pops on. Look at that. Now, this is so cool. All right, pre-drilling, you can see, oops, that the tool, let me set it down here, is pretty cold. Looks like it's about 40 degrees. See, you see the center dot right there is on the tool? It is warm because I was holding it. All right, now let's run this big leg bolt in a couple times and see how warm it gets. I put the hottest point on so you can really see that that motor is heating up 125. You guys see right here, 119, 125. I've done about five runs with this big, uh, what is it, 5 ace leg. Cover here, it's going to get loud. Now watch this. Want to see the different modes? We can um, click this. Come on, there we go. And um, we'll put it so it's only at 50%. See? Then you can see m a lot more detail. Back to standard overlay. We'll get in there. Out there. You can really see the motor is 155 degrees in there. Wow, it gets right in there. Look at that. That is so slick. Better view. Wow, the anvil. Let's see. 103. The back, we're looking around. 126. That thing's just glowing. Look at that. That's just cool to look at. It does have a nice 3.5 inch screen, guys. Touch screen. Super easy controls. That's what I like about this. It's easy to, to use. You tap this for the thermal adjusting. You tap this for what kind of color you want. You know, your dots. Home screen. And then you can change all the settings. You can, there's so much you can do with this thing. It's, it, there's a lot more settings than I can explain to you. Let's go inside and I'll show you uh, my living room and how bad my insulation is. Bring up the thermal. Wow, you can really see 
all the heat I'm losing at the bottom of the door. 64 degrees at the top of the door. You can look, my ceiling right there. That's so cool. Check out the windows. Boom. Let's tap on the cold so you can see the cold spot too. Minimum 59 degrees right there at the window. Let's check over here at the door again. 45 degrees at the bottom. Wow, my door is leaking like a sieve. But see how handy these are from freaking insulation, HVAC, checking electrical. You can even use it as a nightlight with the freaking uh, flashlight on there. Very slick, guys. There we go. Tap it to get the screen to come on. Up here in the corner, the center. You can see the center out there. Gives you the temp. It's kind of chilly out here. It's 44 degrees Fahrenheit. This one button here, you can have your hot, your cold, and then your center. So it'll tell you where, what's the hottest point. Of course, the hot's going over here towards the heater. And what's the coldest spot in the shop. Let's turn those off for now. Super easy. This one is all your thermal imaging options. So straight thermal, blended where you can actually see both. Uh, this one is just the thermal in the center, standard on the outside. This one is, you can adjust the percentage of the background. You want to see, or should I say 25% thermal, 50, 75. I like to leave it at that one. Go back to it, and then you can do just plain camera. You can just also touch this. You can go up, you can zoom in to, I think it's 4X. Oops, I actually can touch it. Come on. Yeah, all the way to 4X. Scroll back down, it'll zoom back out. Put it back on one, touch the screen. All right, so that's just a standard features. You take a well, picture. there you go. I really like this thing. I don't like taking products from people because I always feel like a shill. The very few that I do, I try to test them very thoroughly, like my leaf blower I took from Hulk. I've had it for a year and a half. The video is almost done, but I'm just putting the battery through its paces. This thing is really slick. You just charged it up from dead. Uh, 20 minutes, fully charged up. What else? Um, I want to go over a couple of things. The resolution, guys, 240 by 240 pixels. That's with the upscaling on, or you can do just 96 by 96. 3.5 inch touchscreen, I had to write it down a little bit. It has 25 uh, hertz, so that means the screen's not super fuzzy, it's nice and clear. Uh, 50 degree field of view, so when you're recording stuff, 50 degrees, video, audio, you can take pictures. I could not find how many gigs is the internal memory. I did a two minute video and there's still a memory left to take pictures and whatnot. That's the IP54, not 56, 54. And they said they did do a drop test of six feet. Maybe at the six month review, I'll try to do a seven foot like this and just drop it. As long as it don't land on the screen. But I don't know, maybe it did land on the screen. What else? Uh, I'll put all the links down below, guys. Please go check them out. Great price right now. Go check them out. They're on sale right now. Normally they're around 260 bucks for this unit. Um, on sale, one. 84.99 that's 27 percent off for black friday i don't know how long the sale is going to go after black friday it might just go until saturday morning definitely go check them out sweet little infrared camera i want one forever this is so slick eight color settings guys there's so many more options i could go over and talk about it's i'm slowly learning i've had it for about two weeks i'm trying to learn all the options like eight color pad eight color patterns to go over here Oops, not that one, this one. And the manual explains it. So you got the, the white hot, you got the black hot, you got the rainbow, so on and so forth. There's eight different color patterns to choose from. Super easy, oops, go back to the one I like is this one, the rainbow. Um, you have your hottest point, your coldest point, and the center dot, you can have all three on. You have one on, one off, etc. you know what I mean? So boop, boop, turn them on. And there you go, it'll go to the coldest and hottest spot in the room. Get up here, and watch it come to my hand, boop. See the hot spot? Right, right there. And it tells you everything up in the corner. Uh, what else? Hope you like the footage of trying to look at the drill or the impact wrench and uh, my living room with the ceiling. You can see the difference of the heat escaping. I mean, just here in my shop, you can see that over here is much warmer in the corners because this is slightly underground 
then everything else is kind of cold because it's blue. Like, I'm hot. Yeah. There you go, guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will definitely get back to you. This thing is freaking slick. I really like it. It's my first IR camera. Oh, you can also go into the albums, and you can play back on the unit itself. USB-C, charge indicators here, uh, microphone, lanyard, whatchamacallit hole for a tripod. To record, you just hold this down for two seconds. Focus. Oops, hold on. Is that three seconds? There we go, yeah, three seconds. Now it's recording. Three seconds to turn it off. Boop. If you wanna use the um, flashlight on the front, all you do, swipe down on the screen, bam. Turn it on, there you go. You adjust the brightness. You can have light mode, dark mode, whatever you want. Save the battery. Swipe back up. You're back to normal. I'm going to stop talking. Um, just trying to keep the video semi-short. Go check them out, guys. HSF Tools. This is the HP96. They do have two other versions. They have the handheld ones and whatnot. Much love, guys. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I know it's been a while. I'm back, baby. I'm going to start putting up videos, multiple videos a week and get this thing rolling. We're going to have a huge giveaway for 20,000 subscribers, guys. Much love, guys. Until next time. See you.